This is a quick how-to to show you how to put these things together into a media center. You're going to need a Raspberry Pi. You're going to need an SD card, 2 gigs and over. You're going to need a keyboard. This is a cheap one I got off the internet. This is also a Wi-Fi dongle optional and a case. And when you assemble it all together, you're going to get something that looks a little like this. Small enough to stick on the back of a television. So the first thing that you're going to do is download the software that you need to turn your Raspberry Pi into a media center. And we're going to use the Xabian.org tutorial. So go to www.xabian.org. Punch that into your web browser. You'll come up with this rather flashing looking website and then you need to click on the download icon. Now there are a number of ways that you can install. There's uh, an image, there is a Linux version, there is a Windows version and we're going to use the OXX version. Click here, download the zip file. I've placed it on my desktop. I then extracted the content of the zip file and it put an installer onto my desktop. So you double click on that, it says press to run the script, hit run, pop your password in, I'm not going to tell you that. After a while this little installer will appear and you need to select the version of Xabian, um, it's already selected the beta 2 version and also select the SD card. Once you put your SD card into a USB slot, you can see here mine has already registered a 4 gig SD card. Make sure you've got the right one selected here and boom, hit install and yes. And it's going to run through the process now of putting the operating system onto that SD card. Now this is going to take a little bit of time. So after 10-15 minutes, depending on how fast your computer is, um, you'll get another little prompt saying, are you ready to install everything on that card will be destroyed? Uh, click yes and then after a while the installer will do its thing and Xabian will be put on the card. And you can see your SD card now has changed to Xabian boot. So the next thing to do is put it in the Raspberry Pi and see what happens. So this is the Raspberry Pi all connected up. Plug your power in and the thing will start to boot. Now you'll notice I've connected using a Ethernet cable here but if you were to put the Wi-Fi dongle in you'll have to configure that later. I wanted to go straight onto the internet ready to download any updates that it may ask for. And as you can see it's going to start up. It's not horrendously fast but it's faster than perhaps some operating systems out there. The thing that you're using is something called XBMC, which is a home theater open source software. So the great thing is you can install it not on a Raspberry Pi, but any old PC that you have around. This one obviously is specific to the Raspberry Pi. So here is my keyboard and you can see the little touchpad on there is interacting with it, no trouble at all. And you can navigate around what I think is a very intuitive menu system. As I said earlier, I'm going to connect this to my computer and I'm also going to stream stuff through this as well. But if you want to configure this, the important tab is the system tab. And if you click on that, it will open up this system setting where you can configure all sorts of things connected to the media center. There you go, a cheap, inexpensive, rich media center built from a Raspberry Pi. I appreciate you watching and as always, have one on me.